a few months ago, I understood suddenly how thought was just an illusory thing and how thought is responsible for, if not all, most of the suffering we experience. And then I suddenly felt like I was looking at these thoughts from another perspective. And I wondered, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom from myself, from my problems. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. I was no longer a fragment of the universe. I was the universe. And ever since that day, I've been trying to get back there. <laughs> it comes and it goes. <laughs> it's like riding a wave. Sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm off. But at least I know where I want to go. And that I want to take as many people with me as I possibly can because the feeling is amazing. I'm amazed when people go like, ah, the world is insane, man. It's crazy. It's out of control. It's like people are completely nuts like that. Seriously, we live on a planet where we're very crammed together and I think we do really well. It's just that when we, when we watch the news and we watch entertainment, it's about people's conflicts tied together in the most exciting possible way. And you imagine that the world is this explosive, horrifying place. And the news is all this negativity condensed, you know, and it's, it really is not representative of what the world is or what the world wants.